Hi, it's Donna from Past and Pages. So I'm just back with, um, I'll just go over real quick what I ended up putting on this page after um, the last video. Um, I did go ahead and zigzag on this side as well. I added this. It was a scrap piece of paper that was just laying on my desk. It already had 1893 written on it. So I just scrunched it up and put it down here. The last name Lehman kept coming to me. I don't know why. So I just um, took a scrap piece of paper, scrunched it up, <clears throat> put it down, and did some faux stitching with the big crystal pen around it. I used a black colored pencil to do some scribbles and script type work all around with letters and numbers as well and a pen too. And then I made this homespun, <clears throat> excuse me, fabric tab. And then I glued this piece of fabric on top. And that's the same fabric that's like here on the spine and on the inside of this cover. And then here. So, um, that's what I've done so far. I did rearrange some of the signatures. And I added this. This is like a little CD, mini CD holder. And it's coffee dyed and grunged up and H tape here, rusty um, paper clip there. This came from a receipt book I got from Dollar Tree. So I just um, tore that off and grunged it up and added that. I thought that looked pretty cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, I, I think I was saying I had rearranged the signatures not the signatures, but the pages and the signatures. So I had this in the middle here. And that was the very middle of the signature, but I just really wasn't feeling it. So I moved it to here. This page was a little longer. I tore it down and I've started um, adding to this. So this is just some coffee dyed tracing paper. That I'm gluing in. I'm going to move this rest of this out of the way. And just work on this paper. So I used. My uh, glue stick. For most of it. And I'm going to add just a little. Of this. Uh, here. Just to make sure the edges stay down. Let me grab a baby wipe. So I hope you guys are doing well. I just really, really am needing some rest. I'm not. I've had several nights where I wasn't sleeping the best and it's like really critical that I sleep get my sleep look at that ah. okay I think it will stay I think I don't that uh nozzle that goes on it that makes it come out in a smaller amount is uh, clogged up and so I'm just and then sometimes it don't come out much at all which is what I need here but sometimes not what I need there it goes I cleaned it out it's just oozing out the top okay so um anyway I'm gonna I have these elements here. This is just it's a scrapbook paper. This is um, from inside of a book, like I've shown you guys in previous videos where people did their writing, and I just really like that. This is from a book page as well. So I'm going to do a little grunging. I'm just 
this is the kind of stuff you guys have seen me do probably but this this actually has words it's scrapbook paper and sometimes when you get it it's just like script but it you know it doesn't really say anything it just looks like it but um this actually has words but I've cut it you know I've torn it so it's not like it all goes in a complete sentence okay I had it perfect in the picture I put on Instagram and now I don't remember exactly how I put it but something like that let's see I'm not going to probably do heavy, heavy grunging. This looks like I've already grunged around the sides, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. Probably gonna need to get some more of this art glitter glue soon. I'm not sure I'll have to check, but I think I'm on my last bottle. And it's getting a little low. But I might have it decided if I'm just gonna switch glues. Or if I'm going to stay with that. Uh, I think that was pretty much in the middle. Let me see what you guys are saying. I know sometimes in the camera it looks way off center. But when I look at it, it doesn't. Which, it don't really matter, but sometimes I like it to be a little um, neat. Sometimes, no. So. I'm only thinking I'm going to do about two... Or maybe, yeah, maybe about two more videos on this before we go to the, um, Altered File Folder series. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And if you guys want to drop in the comments below some ideas you might have for, um, what direction you want to go with that you can leave it up to me or you can make suggestions um, I do have more books that I can use um, that I, the same books that I use this photo and these pages out of so if you want to see me make this from scratch this style this that theme let me know if you're wanting something different let me know I think I could do just a regular vintage that's almost medieval or something um, I could probably do a regular vintage I've got Tim Holtz I've got lots and lots of miscellaneous here and there um, papers from various um, various paper pads um i could do floral probably um i don't know just you guys give me an idea or say for me to figure it out either way i'll um think about it so i like that Let's see, where's the rest of it? Here it is. So, uh, yes, I am liking that. And I'm wondering what to add to it. I'm 
always like adding scripts. where we're at on the time oh yeah i can't believe how fast these videos go by so anyway i am still working on how to make some longer videos guys and hopefully i will know something about that in the next video so i appreciate you guys watching and hanging in there and coming back um even though i don't have um the equipment to do long videos and thank you for bearing with me um, so, anyway, I'll probably do some distressing <laughs> on this. So, just, you know, leave your comments about what you're thinking about the file folders. Um, and I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're doing well and doing something creative. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.